What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shats React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today we're back with another American reaction. Mm -hmm. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us, and, and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey everyone, we reached the land of one-eighth of my own heritage, Ireland, which means I'm probably a far-off distant cousin of our favorite Irishman, Potter! For those who don't know, Potter has helped us out with many of the animations in the past, and Potter has been such a great guy, so we decided to fly Potter out here to literally be in He's Potter's like, own country's like video. That. Potter, you rock, man. It's pronounced Potter. Potter. Not with a T. Potter. Potter. <laughs> It's time to learn geography now! Eh, too late. I've been calling you Potter for like two years now. I'm not changing my mind. Anyway, we've reached Ireland! And I'm here to correct him if he gets anything wrong. So don't worry, lads. Yeah, that is so true, Potter. <laughs> oh, so that's what that feels like. Ah, the Emerald Isle. Europe's rain shield. The McNugget. Ireland is loaded with so many notable spots and regions. <laughs> and there's a town called Dingle. Okay. First of all, Ireland is the third largest island in Europe, located in the North Atlantic Ocean, separated from Great Britain by the North Channel, the Irish Sea, and St. George's Channel. Eh, uh, did you notice how I deliberately avoided British Isles? Uh, yeah. yeah, good call. Now, here's where things get a little confusing. Ireland's subdivisions. Let's just get it over with quick and fast. So, when discussing the independent sovereign state, most people are referring to the Republic of Ireland, which makes up these five, six of the Ireland, and unless mentioned otherwise, this is the Ireland we'll be mostly discussing in this episode. To this day, the last fifth northern part of Ireland here is actually part of the UK, and it doesn't even quite know exactly what to label itself. Some call it a province, some say it's a region, some say it's a constituent country, but the point is, the UK holds on to it. Which, as you can imagine, has created some interesting feelings in the past with the Irish. It's weird though, because the people here can choose their own citizenship, be it British, Irish, or both. On the west side, the North Ireland border just juts into the farmland, ending at a small village called Maine and provides a seven kilometer wide quarter to the town of Bundoran for the rest of the Republic to enter into Donegal County. And then you have the strange Penny Enclave right across the Finn River with only a tenth of a kilometer wide entrance that Ireland grabbed and is still part of Monaghan County. This in return gave a small exclave to the UK, an unnamed really patch of land with only three small farming homes. The what? only way to get in besides swimming across the river really would be small. by taking the most name switched international road on the island, the Irish N54, which turns into the A3 highway once you cross into the northern in Ireland, then it switches back into the N54 once you cross into the Exclave, then it reverts back to the A3 again for about two kilometers, and then back to the N54 once you cross back into the Republic of Ireland. So literally, it's like Irish, British, Irish, British, Irish, or as I like to call it, my dating life. <laughs> also, the UK was like, eh, instead of following the Foyle River all the way up to the Foyle Lock, why don't we just swerve left through the farmland to take the entire city of Derry? Because, hey, logic! Basically, to an Irish person, the entire island of Ireland, including Northern Ireland, is just Ireland. So, if you consider the administrative divisions, the Republic of Ireland is divided into 26 counties. However, many also include the extra six from Northern Ireland and call it 32. But then there's the two city and county councils, Limerick and Waterford, and the three city councils, Dublin, Galway, and Cork, making 31 local authorities in the Republic of Ireland, and technically 37 again if you include Northern Ireland's counties and the capital of Dublin. Sounds about right. Okay, yeah, Good Ooh, job. I got that right. Woo. Historically though, Ireland was also kind of split into four provinces that many people still refer to today. They are Connacht, Leinster, Munster, and Ulster. Northern Ireland is often referred to as Ulster, as it encompasses most of the counties that make up the historical province. Otherwise, the largest cities after Dublin are Cork and Limerick, with the largest airports being Dublin, Cork, and Shannon airports. Keep in mind, if Northern Ireland was included in this, Belfast would take the number two spots on each of those lists. In addition to being an island itself, Ireland also hosts hundreds of smaller little islands and islets. The most populated ones being Great Island by Cork, Ackle Island in Mayo, and Grumna and the Arne Islands in Galway. Finally, some places of interest across Ireland might include places like Trinity College, the Guinness Storehouse, the Neolithic Tomb of New... The most populated ones being Great Island by Cork, Ackle Island in Mayo, and Grumna and the Arne Islands in Galway. Finally, some places of interest across Ireland might include places like Trinity... Is that a library? The library of the college? Like Bro, beautiful. is that a library? I believe so. Gotta like some Harry Potter stuff there, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. it's Yo, beautiful. that's okay. okay. I would love that in our house. I think you would. I think you would. You'll get lost. I have to be up in there looking for you in every single room. Don't come look for me, baby. I'm in my elements. 
Collins! Stick in the storehouse. The Neolithic tomb of Newgrange, which is older than the pyramids of Giza, the Rock of Cashel, Glendalock and Wicklow, the Blarney Stone of Cork, that island that was filmed at the end of Star Wars is called Skellig Michael, Tory Island, which kind of has like its own king, Scotia's grave, where an Egyptian princess is buried, supposedly. I didn't know about that one. You didn't even know that, wow. I just found it off of Atlas Obscura. The Mound of Hostages, the Cata Fields, the Sky Garden, Hookhead Lighthouse, the oldest continuously used lighthouse still operating in Europe. So you live right next to it. Yeah. Sean's Bar, the oldest surviving pub and possibly the entire world. And of course, way too many churches, abbeys, castles, dolmens, tombs, everything else to list. Way too many of them. Way too many of them. Oh, and avoid Temple Bar, right? In Dublin. That's like a tourist yeah. trap and you can't actually meet any real Irish people there. It's just yeah. don't go there. Don't go oh, to Temple Bar. Give it a miss. Go to Coppers. Coppers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ah, beer. You guys know your way around the pint, don't you? Oh, well, Irish people do, but I don't actually drink. Oh, okay. Huh. After that, man, cool. Oh, yeah. Uh huh? <laughs> Ireland is very green. The end. Really? Uh, Alright, so there's a little bit more to it than that. Ireland is a post-glacial carved mineral and sandstone island with about 12 small mountain ranges, the majority of which are located in the north, west, and south. You'll notice looking at the map that the east coast of Ireland seems to be relatively smooth and straight, whereas the west coast of Ireland seems to be all choppy and serrated with inlets and peninsulas. Almost like if you took a ball of clay and just spread it across a flat surface in one direction. <laughs> one direction. Anyway, the tallest peak is Mount Carntool at about a thousand meters. And the longest and most important river being the River Shannon and a large lake on the entire Ireland being Loch Ney in Northern Ireland. However, if we're talking about the Republic of Ireland, the largest would be Loch Corrib in West Galway. The west side is also home to the most this notable natural landmark, the Cliffs of Moher that rise about 120 meters straight up from the ocean. Otherwise, you have the Sleevely Cliff a bit further up north, and in the UK's Northern Ireland, you, you have the Giant's Causeway, a series of hexagonal volcanic plug steps that just jut into the ocean side. I love okay. how you say it. Hexagonal. Hexagonal. <laughs> Hexagonal. 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 Now, despite being located fairly north in latitude, Ireland actually experiences a strange weather phenomena in which it actually kind of acts like a rain shield for the UK. It takes all the warm air released by the North Atlantic Gulf Stream that starts all the way from the Caribbean. This means that although Ireland is on the same relative latitude as Newfoundland, Canada, they remain about 9 degrees Celsius or about 17 degrees Fahrenheit warmer, rarely reaching the freezing point, which in return means they hardly ever get snow. However, that wow. again in return That's means nice. Ireland gets a ton of rain. Like seriously, over Where's half Ireland? the year is drenched, you only get like two months of sunshine, and then it's back to the downpour. I mean, wouldn't that make you guys no. like kind of depressed? I mean, at one point, I heard, you know what I'm saying, I'm like, okay, Ireland. Is, are we looking like Antarctica up there or not? Like, what You're I, thinking of Iceland. Oh, same. Okay, Ireland, <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Iceland, Iceland, Iceland. You're no. right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, but like every... I know, I know. But the leprechaun. Okay, oh, when you huh. think of the leprechaun, the green. you think yeah. of the green and the gold mm -hmm. and the rain, the rainbow, you know. The Irish. Yes. Yes, 100%. Yes. Yeah, see, the, I you. know, don't get them. She cleared me up, though, because I was really thinking about Iceland mm -hmm. the whole time. I was thinking about Ireland, but yeah. yeah. What do you think drinking's a thing in Ireland? Speaking of which, the abundance of rain allows Ireland to actually flourish in flora and agriculture, giving it its trademark green colour. Common crops being Beautiful. spuds, sugar beets, and grains like barley, oats, and wheat, which as you can imagine, has a large portion that goes towards Ireland's most famous product, beer. Beer! So Ireland without beer yeah. is like Mexico without tacos, Koreans without kimchi, Argentinians without salsa, Bob Saget without his telekinetic laser vision. Yeah, beer culture is such an integral part of being Irish that even priests and nuns get in on the action and share point of Guinness. Which, by the way, the Bible never condemns alcohol, just drunkenness. So, know your limits. Yeah, we go to confessional a lot. Otherwise, some top notable huh. Irish dishes might include things like... Box tea. Potato bread. Brown soda bread. Bacon and cabbage. Too many suits to list, like coddle and Irish stew, black pudding, oysters, and Guinness. And overall, you can find potatoes cooked in various ways with like everything. And it's, oh, they you like remember? Potatoes. You remember what black, um, black pudding. pudding was? You remember what the black blood? pudding was? Yeah, we we wasn't a fan of that when we first heard about it. It was like, that's nah, different. Nah, but they like potatoes, so... They, this is look really good, though. Mm -hmm. Cabbage and... Mm -hmm. what was yeah. It? Uh, sausage. Sausage or something like that. But yeah, the other one, like the first one looked like pancakes. It looked mm -hmm. like a lot of breakfast dishes at the yeah. beginning. Some mm -hmm. good stuff. Yeah. Ireland is also the perfect habitat for about 26 species of mammals like the red fox, European hedgehog, the stoat, pygmy shrew, and badger. And the one land reptile that is native to the country, the viviparous lizard. Speaking of which, no, the yeah, story of St. Patrick driving all the snakes out of Ireland was probably not true. <laughs> Ireland most likely never had snakes due to its geographic isolation from the rest of Europe. And also St. Patrick probably wasn't Irish, he was Welsh. Yeah, lots of misconceptions when it comes to Irish people. Which brings us to... Hey, so Potter, I... <laughs> Uh, sorry, patter. So what does it mean to be Irish? Oh, we're all about the crack in Ireland, so we are. Yeah, crack... 
crack, what? crack, crack every day and night of the week. We love okay. the crack soda. DA Freeze has more steel. <laughs> Common misconception. See, we're not actually talking about drugs. We're talking about resisting arrest. We're not. Uh, no. Oh, in, First in of all, US? Ireland has about 4.8 million people, over 6 million. Bro, that's the whole. Ireland, up. And has the highest birth rate. In <laughs> that's not even funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Like Why did they right, that joke? Right, that joke could have like lasted two seconds and it could have got over with. Um, right. but yeah, I, I, in yeah. the US, so S I, S -I B. Man, wasn't doing nothing, but you're resisting. He was this, saying this is this is a lot of people's lives. This is a lot of realities. Sad reality. <laughs> she was just recording, but she was resisting in what way form? She gets slammed on the ground by her neck, mm -hmm. but she was resisting in what way form? Right. <sighs> Road trips, bro. EU, about 83% of the country identifies as ethnically Irish, whereas about 9.5% are white of other nationalities, whereas the remainder of the country is other groups like Asians, blacks, and who knows, probably some magical wizards or something. So the country uses the euro as their currency, they also use the type G plug outlet, and they drive on the left side of the road. Now, thanks to modern media, everyone probably has at least a little bit of exposure to the stereotypical Irish culture one way or another, you know, like river dance or leprechauns or river dancing leprechauns, but there's an entire world to the deep-rooted Irish identity. First of all, the language. Technically Ireland, or at least the Republic of Ireland, is a bilingual country that uses both Irish and English, although English is used far more often than Irish ever is. The Irish language mm. is related to other Celtic based languages spoken in Scotland, Wales, and to some extent Brittany in France. But do you guys still get taught Irish? I would think y'all do. In schools, so I okay. still get taught it though. Yeah. Even though English is the most frequently used language, is the native language of Ireland um, used in schools as well, or is it like a subject at least? Right. Or is it even taught in school? Like some uh, countries yeah. don't have their native languages taught in school. That is so true. That is so true. So. Yeah. Just when you thought you were safe after the Iceland episode, Irish comes along and suddenly M and H make a V sound, D and H make a G or Y oh, yeah. sound, no, B, H and F sometimes make like a what? W sound. All right, Paul, let's say you take a shot at saying these words. All right. R I I G L A T. Nope. R I G L A T. It means go on. Talk. Uh, nice try. It's talk duck. It means important. Talk duck. No, let hers. It means toilet. Let hers. Fail nacht. Actually, that was just one I made up. But nice try. <laughs> For a long time, the language Funny. was suppressed and discouraged by the English-speaking rulers to the point where a couple of generations were greatly affected and grew up barely knowing their own native tongue. Today, the language has seen a huge resurgence and is one of the core subjects in most primary okay. and secondary That's schools. Nice. Although less than half the population claims to be fluent in Irish and only a few communities actually speak it regularly in daily life, the Irish language is still survives into the 21st century. All the public signs are posted in both languages. They even have an Irish-speaking TV channel, radio station, and even an online newspaper. In order to get a real feel of Ireland, though, you kind of have to know a little bit of history, which will take way too long to explain, but in the quickest way we can put it... Stone Age. Celtic culture comes in. Chiefdoms. High Kings. Christianity. Vikings. Normans. Castles got built. Black Death. Henry VIII split from the Catholic Church and attacked. Ulster Plantation and quasi-English rule Oliver Cromwell. Wars. Theobald Wolfe, who led a failed rebellion. Potato Famine. Tons moved to the U.S. and Scotland. Gaelic Revival. North doesn't agree. Conflict and persecution against Catholics. Home Rule. Home Rule suspended. World War I, Eastern Rising, IRA fights, Irish Civil War, Free Staters won, World War II they remain mostly neutral, 1969 Civil Rights Marches, Northern Ireland gets more drama, they join the EU, Good Friday Agreement, Celtic Tiger, Financial Crisis, but they still grow and move forward. And here we are today. As mentioned, the largest ethnic group of people in Ireland, the Irish, come from a long line of people known as the Celts or the Celtic. It's Celtic, Boston. Celtic. 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 Celtic.
sound. So, really? But I thought M and H make a V sound. Nah, it depends. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Your language. Sound later became known as Halloween, which became popularized and is celebrated all across the world today. However, originally they used to use turnip lanterns, not pumpkins. Folklore and tradition is strong. Turnip We've all heard of leprechauns, but there's also Fionn McCool and the Fianna of the Fenian cycle, Cucullin the Hound, Dearborn and Grania, similar to the Princess Isolde and Tristan in Arthurian legend, and so much more. And the two most popular sports, which are almost never played anywhere else in the world, Gaelic football and mm -hmm. hurling. Yeah, that's like a Irish uh, Quidditch or something, right? Yeah. Yeah! Don't call it Quidditch. Oh yeah, this is a hurl. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. How do you play with that? Why don't we ask Jason Statham? Or it could be a paddle. A paddle? You're gonna use it as a paddle? Well, not me. Oh. Uh, from what I've understand, there's some schools who actually used paddling back in the day. You had to put your name on it, and then they would pick it in the, they'll put it in an office with the principal. Oh. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I ain't get. Well, I know I that. Ain't get paddled. Yeah, but you know the yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking oh, of which, there is okay. no universal Irish accent. You get different uh. dialects from different regions. For example, who's this tosser thinks he's great? Now he's on YouTube. I'll wrap this whole round his neck. Big fat head on him. Well, we came home on a Monday night, as drunk as drunk could be. I don't know who you are or where you are, <laughs> and I will find you. I returned this wallet. Dude, thank God you came here because I would have offended the entire country and gotten stabbed within hours of upload if I attempted that. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, some famous people of Irish descent might include people like... Oscar Wilde. James Joyce. Bram Stoker. Samuel Beckett. Chemist Robert Boyle. Graham Norton. Terry Wogan. The Irish PewDiePie guy. You 2 and Bono. The Script. The Dubliners. Phil Linnett, who might incorrectly refer to as Philly Knot in the Guyana episode. Sorry about no that! Worries. The Cranberries. Enya. Hosier. The Rubber Bandits. The Dude from One Direction. Colin Farrell. Killian Murphy. Brendan Gleeson. Saoirse Ronan, I got that! Nail it. Maureen O'Hara. Richard Harris. Uh, Northern Ireland. Liam Neeson. And Michael Fassbender is half Irish, so I guess it kind of counts. Yeah, yeah. Some guy called Conor McGregor. Yeah, Conor McGregor. Yeah. Oh, and according wow. to that one Malaysian guy from Flag Friday, Westlife and Boyzone. Otherwise, we could go on and on about the rich, complex layers of music, dance, literature, symbolism, artifacts, traditions, festivals, clothing, customs, and legends. But that would take way too long. And if you want to know more, just watch any episode of Fair City or Father Ted. Or you could just, like, talk to an Irish person as well. Nah, TV's better. TV never gets anything wrong. Sure. In the meantime, Ireland's friend zone in three, two, one. All right, y'all know we got a guest friend zone. Let's get involved, y'all. Who are their friends? Who are their enemies? Okay, so friends has to be us because we have a whole team named after them. I mean, it makes sense. You got a good point. And they have a lot of people who immigrated here. That is true. That is true. Um... Who became immigrants here? Um, who don't they like? Or who don't rock with them, you think? I think they were like the UK. Let's Great see. Britain. Let's find out. Who Let's don't rock out. with them? Who's Ireland's enemies? I don't know. They're green. Everybody loves green. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> No matter where you find them in this world, you know you're going to be lucky when you find an Irishman. First of all, as an EU member state, Ireland has strong ties to many of their continental neighbours, specifically to Catholic countries like France and Spain. The French and the Irish have a long history of joining up in the squabbles against the British. And about 60% of students in British. secondary school learn French. Spain is not only close and does good business, but it's also the number one tourist destination for the Irish, as about a quarter of their entire population visits at least once a year. Surprisingly, the Lithuanians have been flocking to Ireland since the 90s after the collapse of the Soviet Union. Union and make up the third largest immigrant group after the British and the Polish. But keep in mind, the Polish, they like go everywhere, so it's no shocker. I mean, remember how they made up like 8% of Iceland's population? Mm -hmm. Now, despite the past drama, Ireland gets along pretty well with the UK. A lot of their imports come from them, and the Irish are an almost integral part of the common British atmosphere, as so many of them live there. And nonetheless, the best friends of Ireland would actually probably be Scotland in the UK and the USA. Scots and the Irish are Celtic brothers that have shared cultures since the beginning, as well as some of the same strifes and struggles. Tons of Irish moved to Liverpool after the potato famine and were generally welcomed by their cousins. I mean, horrible accents aside, have you seen that one scene in Braveheart where the Irish mercenaries backstab the British and join their Scottish cousins? Yeah, like that, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. The USA, though, is like their favorite younger cousin who is a lot bigger and stronger. Not only do about 30% of their exports go to the US, but after the potato favorite famine, cousin. hundreds of thousands of Irish came flocking into Ellis Island, and to this day, about 35 million Americans claim to have either partial or full Irish heritage, the largest concentrations on the East Coast in New England. That's about seven times the population of Ireland itself. It even got to me somehow. Thank you, Grandpa I never met. In conclusion, I'm actually gonna give this to you, man. Take it away. 
Thank you, Paul. In conclusion, Ireland has had to Conor McGregor its way through war, famine, economic recession, terrible leprechaun rapping, and Gerard Butler's horrible accent in P.S. I Love You. Seriously, man, you're Scottish. It shouldn't be that hard. But through all that, we've managed to be the coolest kid on the block, despite a few emotional issues here and there. We're pretty rad, if I say so myself. Go on, Ireland, you beautiful, drunken mess of a nation, you. And you know what? In honour of your 1-8th Irish lineage, I've decided to bestow on you the title of kind of Irish, I guess. Here's 1-8th of an Irish shamrock hmm. tied on with a piece of sellotape. Wow. Thanks, <laughs> Potter, even though I always get your name wrong, so, yeah. You do. Oh. Title revoked. No! Oh, no! No! no. <laughs> okay, come on. We've been through this. Okay, so it's, it's like ladder, but pa patter, right? Patter. Patter. Right? Patter? Better. Score. Stay tuned. Israel is coming up next. Oh. All right, man. Hey, I just want to give you a shout out. You like incredibly smart. Oh, am you I? are very, very smart. I I'm tried. Very I just pay attention and use context clues. Mm hmm. Made you. It, it got you far. It yes. Got you far in life. It has. I yeah. want to make a mention. Um, but then again, is he didn't add it. Uh, but I think they got something in Ireland like for Barack Obama, like a gas station. <gasps> We did like learn of that, huh? Yeah. We did yeah, learn of that. Yeah, I think that's pretty interesting. I don't the think town. a lot of people know no, about that. No, the whole little town. Mm. Y'all heard about that town of Barack Obama? Pretty dope. <laughs> pretty dope. <laughs> yeah, so we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks. If you like, support the channel that way. As well as our reaction request form is in our description, description box, box below. below. We'll see you soon. Peace.